All right, y'all, welcome back. It's PR here. You know, I get out Saturday and it's just smoking hot. The bite was slow. Fished several brush piles. Caught a few. I think I got one picture in or one little clip in here of me on a brush pile. Move over to the bridges. Fish brush bridges in that area I'm in. Didn't do a whole lot. Um, did see some folks. Jeff and Jeremy there at the bridge. I got a good fish from him today. A bass, beautiful bass, Jeremy. Keep catching them, boy. Keep catching them. Um, and then see some more guys. I don't know the guys' names. They didn't. They just passed me when I was uh, fishing the bridge. So they was catching some fish out deeper. And man, about in it's like mid morning, late morning, working on lunchtime. And I go out to the main lake. The wind's blowing. I end up catching one beautiful, just beautiful fish. What did you see it? And it kind of leads me into the next day, which is in the next show. And you want to stay tuned for that one because I go out and find some stuff in that deeper water, okay? Pictures, like I said, I got Jeremy in here, beautiful fish, brother. Uh, Dennis Harris in here just holding a beautiful, beautiful crappie. And then, man, I got two guys from, say they've been fishing it's another access to lake below High Rock called Tucker Town. Uh, using looks like a little black frog and just wearing a bass out. I think you sit on the Cinco too. So, Alan, I appreciate your picks there. Um, and then lastly, Tony Hensley, you know, great. He's got a pretty fish here too. So Tony, thanks for sending it, man. Uh, so let's get to the show and I'll get y'all to you. I'm back on that same brush pile. Me and Jeff got them on the other day, and <clears throat> they just ain't as strong as they was. I pretty much having a big vertical jig for them. Um, no customized jig. Just a little sea glass. Good one. Dick. Oh man, that's dick old joker. Look at that. Yeah, Let's take a look for lunch. Alright, up on number eight, y'all. Let him go. 
There's another little guy. We'll let that one go too. Yeah, I remember. We met you on the bridge. Yeah, right here. I think I sent you a picture last week. Yeah. I'm sure you got a thousand pictures. Well, not a thousand, but I got several. That's a good one, y'all. Let that one go. It's I already got it. It'll probably go up on the next one. Jeff and Jeremy there. How y'all doing? Good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough today. The fish are biting a little funny. Yeah, we've only caught one white bass. That's it. I am catching some crappy here, but most of them are small. Right now, I'd sell for a drum. <laughs> Good to see you, man. y'all there's another baby so I fished a couple brush piles this morning and caught a couple fished a, fished a couple bridges water temperature is 88 degrees Come out in 20 foot of water. Found a good one. Look at that. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, he was trying to get away. Good fish. Yeah, that's a slab there, boys. That's a slab. Alright y'all, so I'm kind of just riding around looking for some brush now. Uh, that last good fish came out of 22 foot of water, about a pound and a quarter. And I'm kind of just riding around looking for some brush in that depth. Found a couple, just that one good fish and some small ones. So, let's ride around a minute. See what else I can find. Right, we're back at the boat ramp. Looks like 130 man it's smoking hot uh, we did catch a couple got one good one in there rest eaters that's what we're looking for some good eaters so oh man water temperature now is like 90 degrees 
Um, it's slow. You can see the bank, like the boat ramp. It's like it's been pulled maybe two and a half foot. But them crap are out deep for 16 to 22. What y'all think? You know, look, stay tuned because the next day I turn to go right back out there Sunday, go across the lake um, and, and up a little bit and just start. It's just plain and simple, dude. I just, yeah, you're going to burn gas and I just start looking. I used, I like, I ain't got nothing fancy. I got regular two dollar, two son, two D sonar and my map out. And I'm just looking straight up underneath the boat and I ride up and down points right up and down the sides of each then by the end you know so that's the point kind of comes up like this i'll go down both sides with the depth finder different depths looking for brush on both sides like this is the other side points up here like that and just graph i just graph you know so uh, and, and, and like i said i want in 20 foot so i stay 16 to 20 foot looking uh, that's the depth range i wanted okay stay tuned Oh, golly, I might forgot y'all. Look, man, that y'all custom made the jigs. Oh, I told you I was trying a new reel out too. Um, man, I kind of messed up the bridge and cracked my eye, my inner eye. I had to replace the eye and the thing again. Uh, but it, it was kind of rough on me this first day you're six, fixing the scene. And then Saturday, I catch on, um, get my eye back right, and, and I'm starting to like it, but I went through a little line. But anyway. Enough said. Come back. I got a good one coming. Crash.